Hey, uh, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Obsidian for TTRPGs. And uh, this episode, we're going to kind of take a, a step back just a little bit from uh, fantasy, fantasy stat blocks plugin or whatever it is. Um, and I just, uh, I, I got a comment uh, from Matthewson Media, um, which is exactly what I want. Uh, apparently he downvoted me or gave me a, a thumbs down, but then he told me actually what I could do uh, to make it better. And I've tried to do that. So I just wanted to read his comment, read what I said. Um, and it looks like he even went and changed his down vote to an up vote. So, hey, thanks, man. Uh, but I really do appreciate, you know, the the criticisms, uh, the what, what creative criticisms or the constructive criticisms, because it's going to help me make this better. So thank you, Matthewson Media. So uh, here is his comment. Uh, he says, I have watched all your Obsidian videos. You need to have a downloadable sample vault. Uh, with plugins, etc., in your description, uh, you start your video as, or you start your videos, and as a viewer, I see many changes to your sample vault each time, with zero explanation as to what these folders or plugins uh, are to do, or are. Sorry, I'm a terrible reader. Uh, are or do? I find a website. I I find a website that had you to, to tutorial info on it, but nowhere in the description of the video did you include the URL to these resources. Uh, you are not alone though. I have watched other major TTRPG Obsidian creators and they are better, but not by much. So I'm, I'm glad at least I'm close. <laughs> uh, keep posting though and I will keep watching. I did learn a lot from the beginning as someone new to Markdown and watching your process when you made mistakes and how you found it was a very uh, it was very helpful. But as I get better at Obsidian, the discover what's wrong process is counterproductive. You asked for creative criticism for a downvote, a downvote. So here you go. And I love it. I, I'm very appreciative of that. And I've actually made a whole lot of changes, which I'll actually mention in my comment back. So I commented back saying thank you for leaving a comment along with your downvote. That's, that's all I care about. Leave a comment with your downvote so I can make it better. <laughs> this allows me to see what you felt I could do better. And in seeing that, I can make my, uh, the necessary corrections. I have pre-copied sample files of my vault in preparation for future videos. So I'm talking about this up here. So I, I wanted to talk a little bit about these up here, the actor places, quest. These are simply so if I want to link to something I can. Uh, there's nothing really special about them. Uh, I just copied them from a thing from my uh, my Friday night game called uh, abomination vaults and i don't think i can in good faith actually put all this stuff where it can be downloaded because some of it you know it's copyright uh you know the otari fishery information it's not a lot of information but i just wanted to have things that i can actually link to so this up here is actually all just junk um it's not needed uh, for anything it just gives me something that I can actually you know maybe link to and show that yeah see when it height when I hover over something down here it actually will show you uh, a pop-up of that so if you don't have these there's sh there's no big deal you can just create a folder create some files in there whatever you want um, and and you're good to go um, also, some of these things I have there for future videos to kind of demonstrate some other stuff. Um, but like I said, if you don't have these, don't worry. You could just create any folder. Just create a couple, you know, files or something like that with just various texts in it. Um, it's not critical to what we're learning. Now, as far as the vault goes, you know, the everything else in ZZ Admin. I think, and you, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think I've actually worked with you on everything in here. And this is the core. This is the important part right here that, that we've actually been doing. And I think 
we've done it. I mean, I can't really, you can find a, an image online. Uh, this is one I created and we'll be talking about that later uh, in a future episode. This is just one I created in Dungeon, no, Wonder Draft. Uh, so it's just an image, doesn't matter. But everything else down here we've done together with our A note, Note 02 uh, and Z note. Uh, the Pathfinder 2E stuff is everything that was, I think, two, maybe three episodes ago. I'm not sure uh, where we actually downloaded all that stuff. And that, I did put the links on my Discord. I've now also uh, included them in the video description. That was actually a really good uh, comment. So that, that was another thing he said. So. I uh, so I was saying, and I'm I'm gonna stop talking about this because, like I said, this is all stuff that you should have, or if you don't have, I sh I believe I've given access or a way to actually access them. The only thing that is in here is this PF2 action icons that actually came from all the download stuff I believe in here. If we went well, I, we can't see the ZZ zips, um, but anyway. Let's continue. I want to continue uh, the rest of the, the comment because I really appreciate it. So anyways, uh, uh, I'll just continue reading. I have pre-copied sample files to my vault in preparation for future videos. Most of them are not relevant just yet, but I do plan on going over them. I do not want to overwhelm anyone with all the files, so that is why I don't have a full download but I try and recreate it during the videos with the viewers. I have tried to keep my Discord updated with all the links and downloads as I periodically mention in the videos. However, I agree that the links, uh, the links in the video description is also a good idea. So I did add that. Um, and then I said, I do have uh, the list of all the plugins that we are or will be using in the series in the video description however i did notice that the dice roller was missing so i did it did not have uh we go to plugins here i was missing this in my video description um but it wasn't missing in the discord so those two got out of sync actually there wasn't really as much in the video description uh let's see did you do where was i I and also started to show the list at the beginning of my videos as was recommended several videos back by a viewer and in obsidian I tried to use, I use the strike through to mark the ones that we have gone over so uh, some of these we kind of actually went down this list with ad admonition advanced tables as I mentioned in the last video I'm not 100% sure that this one's even needed anymore with an update and we're going to investigate that also later uh, the folder notes, that's the one that makes it so that we can actually just click plugins and it, you know, um, it, it, there's actually a file in here called plugins and it just references that when you click the folder. In other words, it normally when you click on a folder, it doesn't do anything except expand. Uh, the custom frames, that was, um, the one where we were interfacing with, uh, D and D Beyond, I believe it was. Maybe we did it with uh, the demi plane, but I did also mention in that video that you can't actually click like the dice rolling and stuff like that. The Java behind those things don't work. Data view, we did a whole huge video on that. The dice roller, we um, did that. I think the editing toolbar actually did way up here. Uh, Fantasy calendar went over that in a video. And the content generator, we did that with the dice roller, if I remember right. And now we're on fantasy stat blocks. Um, how are we? We're at nine minutes. Maybe we'll get a little bit into the fantasy stat blocks. Uh, so anyway, let me just finish the rest of my comment because it's it's not that much longer. I did say, I do have less, uh, I didn't know I read that one. Yes. Unfortunately, there isn't much uh, much about the mistakes I feel I can do. Some people might come to my videos and only watch the one that meets their search criteria, and maybe the mistakes that I make in that video are the same they are experiencing, and them seeing my solution will help them resolve this. Also, computers and software are finicky, so sometimes I just have issues, period. Um, and then finally, I said thank you again for your constructive criticisms. I will try and improve my future videos by implementing what I can. And then he replied to that uh, 
today, six hours ago, I guess, uh, said, switch to thumbs up. Thanks, Tasman. So, and I said, no, thank you, because I'm, I'm really grateful for that. So I know that was a, a long thing, but I did want to explain that these can be anything. And some of the stuff I have in there is actually from Abomination Vaults, and I don't want to get any kind of issues with Paizo. Uh, I have mentioned that they give freely uh, to the world basically all their core source rule books and all the content from them on the uh, archives of Nethys. However, they make the, most of their money usually on the adventures, so I don't want to violate that. So that's part of the other reason I don't actually include this as part of a download. Um, but as I said also, we actually have pretty much, you should have everything in your ZZ admin if that's what you called it, uh, that we have here. Now, on that note, with uh, when I make errors and I, I find out how to fix them, I want to tell you how I fix this one. So as you remember in the last episode, we created this Goblin Warriors inside mobs. If it's just right off of the root and you don't have any folders, that's fine. That's not, that's not going to cause any issues. I just have this for organization. So we created this Goblin Warrior. Oh wait, you're not supposed to see it work. Um, and I found out what the issue was. When I was doing it down here in PF2E, Core, Bestiary, and I think we're in Bestiary 1, um, what I was looking at is the name of the actual file. So if we come down here and look at Goblin Warrior, I typed in Goblin hyphen Warrior, all lowercase. Apparently, it is the name of the actual thing. So if we come into this one, for example, you'll see that it's actually called you know, Goblin Warrior is its name. So this is up in the, the metadata, but I believe it's also down here, right there. So uh, that's why it didn't work. Now now that I, I typed it right, as you can see here, that's all I have to have for my stat block is Goblin Warrior. And if I click on that, now it's, it changes. So um, the one thing I wanted to point out from this is this is monster if I wanted to give this goblin warrior like it were a specific uh, creature you know maybe the boss goblin warrior but still uses the same so we could maybe just change this to boss just so we know it's a boss goblin warrior we wouldn't change this to boss but what we could do down here is uh, type name and colon you have to spell name right by the way name colon and then doesn't necessarily have to be in quotes but I think usually when there is you know um, a space in a word it it's nicer to put it in quotes and let's give this uh, guy a name he's the boss goblin warrior and we'll name him uh, I don't know let's name Tasman so if we do that and now if we go look at it you'll actually see it changes its name. It overrides that value. I'm definitely not a negative one level. <laughs> so, and if you ever, you know, if you have these files and if you're using the D&D 5e one, it's just the SRD content, you can actually go look, you know, the information on it and see what field it is. Remember, we went into here uh, down to the stat blocks here and um, oh, this is another thing I actually learned. This actually says it will do the subfolders in their children. So technically, uh, all we need up here is uh, zz hyphen or underscore zz admin uh, slash pf two e slash uh, core and then bestiary b e s t I A R Y and do that. So now if I add that one, technically I do not need these three because this is actually going to scan any of the lower files as well. Um, you might have to reload uh, your, your obsidian after doing that. I'm not going to do it just because it takes time and if it's cached, it's going to be the cached with all those other files. But what I wanted to point out, like if you were doing it for say D&D 5e and you're like, oh, I don't know what this field's called. Once again, you can come into here and you can click on the 5e layout, 
click here and say okay so there's the name there's a field called size type subtype and we can do the same thing with our, our pathfinder if I don't actually know you know the different fields I could come into the basic pathfinder layout which is the main one for mobs and I can come in here and say oh levels right here and it's actually just called level or if I wanted to change something else like health uh, there's just a, a field in here called health so I can actually just go in here now and look at my goblin warrior and actually say uh, H-E-A-L-T-H I'm actually I think it is case sensitive so keep it the same and we'll say like 200 or something to see if that works so here we go down oh actually it's it's HP I need I don't think this one uses it but I think it's just HP for that too so if I say HP this one I don't think uses that actual health line and I think HP might actually be something else let's go double check it it's always good to you know figure out what we're doing so if we come into Pathfinder 2 e basic layout if we come down uh, there's a health abilities armor class actually there's is there two health abilities bottom I think it is health all right I might have to go look at that um, I don't remember it let's go look at the actual creature and see what it says for health uh, so in this case we can actually just go look at the creature as well and see what our our disconnect here is so if we do that click on that come down here it's probably because it's a sub to, uh, sub thing here that, that's what I was thinking I didn't know what it was gonna be yeah so there's health and then colon name HP so if I take this chunk right here and go back to our goblin warrior and I'm actually gonna open him up by middle clicking he'll go into a new window and then if I go here and then change this to V and then change this to 200 now it should actually work I believe there we go HP 200 so that's the thing to watch for is when it's actually a subcategory now I think we can actually see that exact same thing health name and description inside here if, if I remember right uh, da, 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 pathfinder to be layout and if we come into here I probably should have noted that so we have health as a trait So anytime you have traits, it's going to have the um, it's going to have the name and description. So like our traits, our skills will be one of those. That's just what those fields actually are. They expect to pass a trait in the description. So there you go. Oh, we're at 18 minutes. I'm wondering if there's so as you can see, this is the armor class is. The trait and then we have AC is the name followed by description hopefully that makes sense to you um, all right so two minutes one minute more uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to point out specifically I don't think there is I think we'll just go ahead and wrap it up here at 19 ish minutes so um, once again, thank you, you guys, for any comments you leave. Uh, you know, both the good and the bad. Um, I really appreciate it, and I look forward to being able to make my channel better and better for you. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Click that little notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, check out my Discord and my other channels, and don't forget to uh, tell other people about my channel. Come check it out. If they like what they see, they can sub. We grow the channel. Everyone wins. And that is it, my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.